Welcome to my talk. I'm Hyung Dun Kuk from Neighborline Search Solution Vision, and today I'm glad to introduce our work on effective pipeline for real world cloud retrieval system. The overview of our proposed system is described on Figure 1. As you can see, our system consists of three parts, which are detection, retrieval, and post processing. I will give you detailed descriptions of each component in the following slides. As shown in figure 2, for a given image, our system first detects clothes items on the image with detection models. To detect target clothes precisely, we employ 5 state of the art detectors, which are ATSS, Cascade Mask RCNN, Centernet, and two retina nets with different backbones. We train those detectors with deficient to train set only and report the validation results on table 1. Every detector show high AD scores and we utilize these models to the following post-processing stage. To retry detected clothes, we leverage CGD framework because it can combine various global descriptors in flexible ways. We train our retrieval models with combined multiple metric losses and auxiliary cross-entropy loss. In specific, we utilize three metric losses which are center loss, multi-similarity loss, and triplet loss. We formulate total loss with weighted summation of those metric losses and auxiliary cross-entropy loss. The CGD framework and combined loss functions are depicted on figure 3. Unlike detection models, we utilize other public fashion datasets to train our retrieval models. We summarize the utilized datasets on table 2, and with various experience, we got 18 retrieval models and summarized the top 10 accuracy with various training schemes on table 3. For following slides, I will describe the post processing methods we apply. After the Close detection, we adopt weighted boxes fusion to combine detection boxes from our close detectors. As shown in Figure 5, unlike popular NMS method, WBF does not discard prediction boxes. Instead, it uses information from all those boxes and then makes new, more accurate prediction boxes. We choose ATSS as the base detector since it brings the best top 10 retrieval accuracy. We fuse other models on ATSS with WBF technique. In Table 4, we report WBF results on Defection 2 validation set. Compared to ATSS, WBF boosts the detection performance about 2% on AP score. We also merge retrieval features acquired from WBF boxes by feature concatenation method. Since we have 18 retrieval models, we experiment various combinations of models and summarize some of the results on table 5. Compared to the base model, feature concatenation raises the retrieval performances with meaningful values on top 10 validation and test results. In addition to WBF and feature concatenation, we also tried famous post-processing techniques, but those methods didn't work on our proposed system. We briefly described what we tried to boost our system performances. First, we applied PCA whitening. Unfortunately, every time we applied PCA, the retrieval performance decreased by a small margin. We also tried the popular core expansion and DBA methods. Both methods didn't work well in our experiments, and we speculate that this is because there were too many similar boxes, so that the weighted sum of those boxes were not that informative. Finally, we tried KRSI proper re-ranking method. Since the memory issue, we had to reduce the WBF result boxes to small amounts. And surprisingly, we found that the k recite protocol technique actually increases the top 1 and top 10 accuracies. But, as mentioned before, it takes too much memories and as shown in table 6, the performance is still less than the simply using the original WPF boxes.
So we discarded the above method in our final submission. With proposed system, we achieved a high final close retrieval scores and ranked second place in the Division 2 Close Retrieval Challenge. In summary, we proposed an effective real-world close retrieval system and it shows great retrieval performance. For the detection, we found the performance of close detectors are crucial to the following retrieval results. And for the retrieval, using the CGD framework with combined metric classification losses yields high retrieval scores. And we also found that the additional dataset and tuning hyperparameters boost the retrieval performances. Finally, for the post-processing, the method that manipulate directly on detection and retrieval results worked well, such as WBF and feature concatenation. However, the popular posting process method like PCA and core expansion didn't work well on our proposed retrieval system. Thank you for listening, and I hope the proposed closed retrieval system could help all of you.